Well, if you ever had trouble training a puppy, this story might make you envious. A Cannon Falls Golden Retriever and his owner on their way to making history in the sport of dog obedience. WCCO's Kirstie Mitchell shows us how they did it. <laughs> this is the face of a dog who knows he's a good boy. He is quite a ham. He thinks a lot of himself. Baker, a nine-year-old golden retriever, just won the American Kennel Club National Obedience Championship in Ohio this past weekend, the second year in a row. It's amazing. I'm just trying to enjoy it and hang on for the ride because he is one in a million. Owner Corey Bevis has competed with Baker since he was two years old. From the moment I got him at eight weeks old, he's been unbelievably focused, unbelievably attentive. Corey owns Tales of Dog Training in Egan, where they teach basic and puppy obedience to competition level. I think the biggest thing is the reliability. They need to be able to do what you're asking on the first command. You don't get a second chance. If you have to ask them a second time, you're out. It's a high stakes sport. Yes, very much. <laughs> Stand, spin, sit. They have to heal by your side. Down. They do Back. have to jump jumps like in agility. Sit. They need to retrieve certain objects. While Golden Retrievers consistently rank top dogs for obedience, Corey says anyone and any dog can learn. We have a lot of retired people that get into the sport because um, they have the extra time to do it. It's a wonderful community of people who are very supportive. Baker's sibling and mother have also won the American Kennel Club National Obedience Championship in years past, a first for a family. Come here, give me a hug. <laughs> oh, if Baker wins it. again in 2024, it'll be a historic streak. We like to aim high, so we'll try next year. In Egan, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO News. Sweet little boy. Uh, Baker will take some much-earned time off this summer before training resumes for next year.